Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to set up a really nice looking Discord server in 2019. If you guys enjoyed the video and you guys want to see more videos like it, then please do hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I make tons of tutorials and tech videos, so feel free to check them out. But other than that, let's get on with the video. So for those of you guys who didn't know, Discord was actually made so that gamers can communicate easier with one another while playing together. Lately though, it's kind of become like a central hub for influencers and YouTubers and like streamers and stuff like that to actually talk with their community. And that's exactly what I do with my server that you guys can see on the screen right now. I'm in my server all the time talking with like everyone who's a part of it so if you want to join i'll have a link on the screen right now but also in the description below it's a great place to go if you want to talk about memes your life youtube and streaming if you're looking to make some friends or really anything other than self-promoting if you plan on joining my server just to self-promote or ask for sub for sub then just don't even bother joining anyways discord is also a great place for friends to talk with each other as well and if you guys do want to learn more about discord i will have a link in the description below to an article by taylor lorenz who's a great writer but anyways the first thing that you want to do when you want to make your own server is go to the side where all your servers are going to be scroll down to the bottom then hit the plus button that says add a server. Once you do that, hit the create a server button and from here you can type in some info. So if you're a YouTuber or a streamer, then you probably want to name your server whatever you really call your community if you have a name for them. Uh, since I don't for my public server, mine is literally just named Moz because that's my channel name. But if you're making a server to talk with like your friends or something, then maybe like name it like some inside joke that maybe only you guys understand. Anyways, it's totally up to you. I'm going to name mine like Moz's test server or something like that because you know, I'm probably going to be deleting this uh, server when I'm done making the video anyway. So next up we actually have our server, and your server region is essentially what's going to be used when you're in a voice channel with like your friends or your fans or your viewers or whoever's in your voice channel. So for this just pick whatever is closest to where most of the people in your server are going to be from. So I'll just pick the eastern side of, US, of the US, and uh, moving on from that we can do our server picture. So if you have a logo or something for your YouTube channel or your Twitch stream, then definitely pick that, but if you're just in like a friend group or something it really doesn't matter too much what you pick. Um, I think I have like a random picture of Drake on my computer, yeah, I don't know why I have it. I have it though, so I'm going to pick that and then from there we can hit create. And uh, there you go, so our server has been made, and if you guys do want to invite some of your friends straight off the bat, you can do that if you want to. What I do recommend doing is make your server first and then invite your friends afterwards because then you can set up like your roles and your channels and all that good stuff. So now that the server's been made, I'm not going to show you guys how to make like roles just yet, and if you're wondering what roles even are, I'll show you guys in my actual server. So these are some roles, so like right here is the mods role, this is the friends role right here, this is the mods role, channel members, bots, active users, and then you know, so on and so forth. So we don't have that in my uh, test server yet, but I am going to be showing you guys how to do that later on in the video. The first thing I want to show you guys how to do is actually make all these kind of channels right here on the left and i'll even show you guys a different discord like the 100 thieves discord right here it has a bunch of channels right here it has like the normal welcome the rules announcements and stuff like that and then it has like the normal text channels like general apparel food tv and movies and stuff so you can talk with like your fans or your friends and stuff like in these specific channels and that keeps like clutter away because you won't have to talk about everything in the general one you can kind of break it apart and i even have that in my actual server too like i have the general one where you guys can talk about whatever but then i have one for introductions when you want to like introduce yourself to the other people in the server one for looking for uh, looking for collaborations sharing your graphics in case you're like a graphic designer or something like that and so on and so forth so the first ones that we're going to be starting off with are going to be these three right here which are really just like the ones that are in like every single server no matter what and what they are is going to be the welcome channel which basically just has like a little welcome message um it might explain what each role is for the basic rules of the server and then like what each channel is used for things like that maybe in some social media that's what i have and a lot of people have that as well then the next one's just gonna be your rules and these are pretty simple straightforward in case someone breaks these rules they can be kicked muted or banned you know stuff like that then the next one is announcements and this is great in case you like want to uh let your discord server know in case you uploaded a video or in case like you're going live you are live or just random announcements like that so these three channels right here are the ones that probably only you and your moderators should be able to to type in. You don't want random people in your server to be able to type in them because imagine if I had my rules so that anyone can type in there. You would probably never see the rules because there'd be a bunch of conversations going on like down here. So what we want to do to actually do this is go back to my test server and then from here we're going to create a new category. So right click, hit create category. And I'm just going to call this one um, important because everything in this category is going to be important and it's definitely something you should check right as you join the server. So hit create and what I want to do right off the bat is just drag it all the way to the top because I want it to be the first thing on the side of the panel if that makes sense. So from here what I want to do is right click and hit create channel. It's going to be a text channel and what we're going to do right here is gonna, we're going to make it the welcome channel. Uh, so hit create and what we want to do is just straight away make sure that we drag it into the important category. So just like right here in my server we have welcome rules and announcements in the information category and then everything else is in the chat rooms and staff chat rooms and voice channels. We're going to try doing the exact same thing here but obviously to a much smaller extent because I can't go through and make all these again. That's going to just extend the length of the video so much and I don't want it to be that long anyway. Alright so anyways back to my test server. So the first thing that we want to do is make it so that no one else besides me is is able to talk in these like actual channels so I'll make the welcome one then I'm gonna go to edit channel go to permissions and permissions are essentially like the rules or permissions that you give this text channel so 
what I want to do is for the at everyone role, which is essentially going to be every single person in the server no matter what, I want it so that they're able to read messages in this, but they're not able to send messages in here. They also shouldn't be able to send TTS messages, but they should be able to read message history. So other than that, they shouldn't be able to do literally anything other than those like, uh, what, three things that I did, right? And I guess you can also give them the permission to create an instant invite. It's totally up to you. I guess I'll leave that. So I'm gonna hit save changes right here. I'm gonna close out of this. And now what I wanna do is right click it and I wanna clone the channel. Now I can do one for rules and I can right click that one and clone that channel and I can do one for announcements. So now that I've done that, the exact same permissions have copied onto all the other channels. So right here I can type in my rules like no racism, no sexism, whatever, right? Like type in all your rules right here. Obviously you can like go ahead, format them, make them a picture or something cool like I did in mine right here. But uh, you know, now anyone else on the server who joins, they're not gonna be able to type in this channel. Only I can type in it because I own the server. And same thing goes for here. So if I wanna type in a welcome message, like welcome to my test server, be sure to check out the rules. There you go. So if I hit rules right here, then it will take me here and it automatically switches between channels, which is like really dope. So anyways, pretty simple, straightforward stuff right here. And announcements also straightforward. If you in case you uploaded a video, you could say, I uploaded a video, blah, 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 blah. And then link your video and then always be sure to add everyone whenever you do something in the announcement so that every single person in the server always gets a ping and then they can go ahead and check out your announcement. So now for your text channels, um, I'm gonna be showing you guys like my server again. So you can really do whatever you want. Um, one thing I highly recommend doing is putting like emojis or something because I really feel like it just feels way more welcoming or something like whenever you join a server that has a bunch of emojis because like I, I love 100 thieves like straight up like my team till I die but like servers like this like they don't look that appealing like just having normal text but like imagine they put like a little TV box right here next to the TV and movies one or like little music symbol or something so personally that's what I like to do is I like to put emojis on my things but you don't have to if you don't want to server like most servers they usually just have like normal stuff like this so um it's, it's totally up to you like what you want to do feel free to like go ahead and pick like whatever kind of channels you want to add into your server so in case you want to like obviously you should always have the general one because you need that for general discussion but in case you want to add one for like i don't know talking about music create a new text channel type in music talk or whatever you want to do hit create and now you want to make sure you drag that into the normal text channels my bad so you know it's pretty straightforward you want to add whatever text channels make sense for you and your uh, in your server but i'm not going to go through and add a bunch because it just wouldn't make sense for me to do that one thing i do want to tell you guys how to do is make private text channels that only the people with a specific role are able to see and that's exactly something that i have in my server so in my server i have all these staff channels that only people who are my staff can see so like my moderators and admins and i also have this friends channel right here that only my admins and friends can see it and uh, by friends i mean like anyone who has this friends role right here on the right side and this this role is essentially meant for my friends that i talk with like basically every single day or like every other day you know like the people i'm like in touch with like really often i give them a unique role because that way they're able to join a friends only like my friend tanner is just chilling in here but a friends only like voice channel and a friends only text channel so i'm also gonna be showing you guys how to do that but before i do that i actually have to show you guys how roles work so what we're gonna do over here is go back to my server go up here and go to the server settings so i'm gonna have to walk you guys through a couple of things right here and then we can actually go into the roles so for me personally i like to go ahead and turn this to no new member messages and so hit save changes right here then for default notification settings you can either have it on all messages or only at mentions and all messages is that someone in your server will always get a notification no matter what someone says and if you have it on only at mentions then the person will only get a notification if they got mentioned in that little message that someone else said so if you're in a really big server i highly recommend just doing this one because it's just gonna be better for everyone in the long run in case you're in like a server with just like your friends or something then leaving it on all messages should be fine moving on from that we can go to the moderation tab and right here in case you're just in a server with like your friends you can leave this on none because you you know you're only gonna be inviting your friends you're not gonna have to worry about like random trolls joining your server but in case you're like making a server for like your youtube followers or your like twitch followers or something then definitely consider making it on like low medium or even like the third one at most do this one that means that someone has to be a member of the server for longer than 10 minutes before they can actually talk um i personally like to keep mine on medium or this one because i feel like that works the best moving on from that we have the audit log this is really simple but it basically tells you all like the administrative th administrative things that have been happening in your server so uh obviously we don't have a whole lot going on here because i'm the only person in my server but in case you're in like a really big server this is a really good place to check out when you want to see like what's been going on in your server anyways sorry for like the long rant about discord and all that good stuff let's finally go on to the roles and the first thing that you want to do is actually make changes to the everyone role and the everyone role are actually the permissions that you can set so that everyone has them no matter what and the first thing that i highly recommend doing 
doing is turning off the TTS permission. So go to scroll down here to the text permissions and just turn this off immediately. Definitely be sure to save the changes on that. And essentially how permissions work is like, let's say that you wanted everyone in your server, no matter who they are, to be able to, I don't know, like um, kick members and kick uh, and ban people in your server. So in case you wanted everyone to have those permissions, you turn those on and you hit save changes. And now everyone who joins this test server is able to kick and ban people no matter what. That's not something you should have on. You only want your administrator and your moderators to be able to do that. So I'm going to turn that off because we don't want everyone to be able to do that. And then from there, I think it automatically saved. But anyways, let's move on from that and go ahead and create some roles. So the first thing that I want to do is going to be the owner role. And this would probably just be like the role that you yourself have. Um, The one thing I do want to mention straight off the bat is always make sure that you display role member separately from online member. And this is important because that way everything gets separated from like the normal online members. So I'm going to hit save changes here. So I'm going to leave that one unchecked, but I'm going to go ahead and check every other thing because I feel like that's insanely important. Like I said before, in case you own your own server. Um, One thing I do always leave unchecked is going to be the uh, priority speaker one right here. And the reason why I leave that one unchecked is because I don't feel like it's that fair. Like when I'm talking with like my friends or my viewers in my server. Um, So I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave that unchecked, hit save changes, and then we can move on from there. And also one thing I want to tell you guys right off the bat is that you can add colors to your uh, actual role. Like I was showing you guys before on my server, I think my role is like blue or like dark blue. And then my friends have like, like a light blue and moderators are like green and stuff like that. So in case I want to add like this, like light pink color to the owner role, I could click it, hit save changes. And then when I apply the role to myself later on in the video, you guys would see that my name will turn like kind of like a reddish pink. But anyways, the next thing that we want to do is add a moderator role. So I'm going to go here, click new role, and then add a moderator. And then I'm going to hit save changes. And straight off the bat, we want to display it from other people. And we also want to allow it so that everyone can add mention this role. And if you're wondering, Moz, why can we do this over here, but we can't do it on an owner role? The reason why it's like that is because for an owner, there's probably only going to be one person. But for moderators, you're probably going to have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, you'll probably have a lot of moderators. So you want it so that anyone who joins your server, in case they want to like contact all the moderators, they can just add moderator. And then everyone who's a moderator will get pinged if they have this thing on. So anyways, for a moderator, you don't want to turn on administrator privileges like that, but you do want to let them view the audit log. And uh, for managing roles and managing channels, I don't have that on for my moderators, but kicking and banning members, that's definitely something you should have on. Um, This stuff right here is really personal preference. Like if you want your moderators to be able to like change the nicknames of other people in your server or change their own nickname, then feel free to turn that on. Um, Same thing with like emojis or webhooks, it's totally up to you. Scrolling down, you definitely want it so that moderators are able to delete messages by other people because they are moderators. So they should be able to delete like offensive or inappropriate messages. Um, I, like I said before, always leave TTS off. Anyway, scrolling down from that, you can turn off mention at everyone. And what mention everyone is, is that if anyone types in at mention everyone, every single person in the server is going to get pinged. So one thing I want to straight off mention right away is go back to the everyone role and scroll down until you find this and turn this off immediately because you don't want it so that any random person who joins your server is able to tag every single person in your server and then send them a notification because imagine how annoying that would get. That would get insanely annoying. So make sure you turn that off in the everyone role. But anyways, going back to the moderator role, we can scroll down. Down. It's all really personal preference for you. Uh, for the voice permissions, I usually just give them everything besides a uh, priority speaker. So save changes, scroll all the way up, and I'm gonna give the moderators like a like a custom green color, like a lime green or something. But I highly do recommend that you guys take the time and go through and read all these uh, like uh, permissions and make sure that you're assigning the proper roles to the people that you want to actually have these roles. So for example, one thing that I have in my server that I can show you guys really quick is that in my server, as you can see, I have this active role right here, and only like seven active people are on right now. So shout out, shout out to you guys. But then I have these 140 people online. So the difference between this, these active people and these online people is that the active role can actually um, send messages with like links and pictures and videos, but people online, they're not able to send links or anything. Like they have to rank their way up to the active role before they're able to do that because I want to like prevent it from people like self-promoting their YouTube videos and stuff like that. So I make it so that you have to get the active role before you can send things like that. So for my everyone role in my actual server, I have it so that you're not able to like send links and send pictures and things like that. But then in the active role, that I made, you are allowed to do that. So definitely take the time, go through and actually enable the things that you want to enable. And then moving on from that, um, let's just go ahead and add one more role and we're going to call it the YouTuber role. So this is a role that I'll only give to YouTubers in my server. I'm going to hit save and I'm just going to give it like a cool, like little red color. There you go. Straight up. We already found one. And if you're wondering, Moz, why haven't you done anything with the YouTuber role? You really don't have to. This is just kind of like a cool role that I'm going to give out to anyone else, but it's not really a role that I want to give like permissions to like manage the server or be able to like kick and ban people in my server. It, they're just going to be like normal members of the server with like a cool role so I'm just gonna give them a color display role separately from online members and it's personal preference for you if you want to allow anyone to mention the role but I'm not gonna do that from there I'm gonna go ahead and save 
Actually, one thing I do want to do straight off uh, straight off the bat is definitely turn off ban and uh, kick members because we don't want random people who join my server to be able to do that. Or like random people with the YouTuber role to be able to do that. And it looks like we're good. So for the YouTuber role, you don't really want to change too much. They're just going to be like a normal role, like the everyone role, but they have a color to them. So that's really it. So we can close out of that. And then in case you want to actually assign a role to someone, all you have to do is go to your server and go to the right where all the people are, right click it, hit roles, and then give them the role. So what I like to do for myself because I own the server is I, I just like to give myself all the roles because it looks really cool when you click it and you can see all the roles right here and if I go to my actual server as you can see if I click it you can see all the roles in my server right here as well but anyways let's go back to my test server and now what I want to show you guys how to do is actually make like private like channels that only specific people can see if they have a specific role so what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna make a new category and I'm gonna call it like staff channels so this this is gonna be a category that only like my staff members would be able to see so like only people who are like my moderators essentially so what you do right here is you right click hit create channel and what we're gonna do right here is we're just gonna call it um, uh, staff chat. I think staff chat makes perfect sense. From there, I'm gonna hit create channel. Once I do that, I'm gonna drag it into the staff channels category. You just click a little, uh, I think it's called like a cog or something. I have no idea. Click that thing, go to permissions. And then from here, what we wanna do is we wanna make it so that everyone is not able to, they're not able to read the messages and they're not able to read message history. Those are like the main two things you wanna set off straight off the bat. And from there, you can hit save changes. And now what we wanna do is we wanna hit the plus button right here and add our moderators as like their own group of permissions. And from here, what we want to do is we want to give them permission to actually read the messages in here and read the message history. So now they're able to read everything in this channel if they have the moderator role without actually, um, you know, like no one else in the server will be able to actually click in here and like read what the staff is talking about. And that's exactly how it is in my public server. So right here, if I go to my, like my staff channel or my admin, admin channel, no one else in the server, like these online or active people, like they're not able to read what's going on in here. And I can show you guys the same thing too. Like in my friends role right here, right here I can hit edit channel. I can go to the permissions and the people with the friends role, they're able to read, they're not able to send TTS, but they're also able to read the message history. I don't know why that's not checked, but I mean, it works how it works, I guess. But anyways, that's essentially how you make it so that you can have a private text channel that no one else can read besides the people that you want to be able to read it. And again, like I said before, definitely consider adding like some emojis or something because it just looks way better. I will have a link to like this emoji website in the description below. It's really easy to use and I highly recommend you guys check it out. And you know, just talking about uniqueness, like for the specific like channels that we made in the beginning, like welcome rules and announcements, like definitely feel free to like click through some other servers that you might be in. Like I'm in my own. Uh, these are my welcome, this is my welcome rules and announcements. And then I can go to like, I don't know, um, who do I want to check out? Like 100 Thieves, I can go back to them, go back up here, like check out their welcome one. They have like social media and stuff. They have their rules right here and their announcements. So for this kind of stuff, like feel free to like jump into other servers and like see what they have. And like, feel free to use it as like some inspiration to add, think about like what you want might want to add to your server as well but obviously like don't copy them all the way discord servers are meant to be unique for each community so do your best to represent yours in the best way that you can if that makes any sense at all anyways guys that really does wrap it up for the video like i said before i am gonna have my actual public discord server linked in the description below and on the screen right now um in case you guys do have any more questions about discord or really anything at all like regarding it definitely be sure to tweet me or follow me on twitter please i just hit 10,000 uh, 10, followers on there uh thank you guys so much for that it really does mean a lot so follow me on twitter dm me or tweet me and i'll try to help you guys out but like i said before guys that really does wrap it up for the video like right now my test server looks incredibly naked so you do want to spend your time like adding like a cool welcome message uh, a cool like rule section cool announcements um and like all the general stuff as well and uh, like i said before definitely be sure to check out all the permissions because you want to make sure that like you're not giving like the wrong permissions to like the wrong people so like i said before for like the everyone role you want to make sure that everyone is not able to mention everyone so definitely turn that off and hit save right off the bat if you don't want people to be able to attach files turn that off hit save if you want people to be able to attach files just turn it on hit save so obviously spend your time with the permissions i know when i first started out on discord it was actually insanely hard to like learn all this stuff but now that i've learned it i really thought it'd be a great idea to make a video like this for you guys anyways guys it's 1 30 a.m i'm really tired i have to edit this video and go to sleep so hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one peace